I can tell you, this car is extremely smooth. It handles real well. It's not giving you any false signals. I'm excited to go to it again. This is a project that's been in the works for better than three years with a core team at Chevrolet Performance. And to be able to come out today and finally have the vehicle go down a track and to run some of the numbers that we've seen today with flawless execution is really something exciting. The guys did an amazing job. The car was prepped perfect, the engine ran great all day. We started out with a supercharged engine and now we're switching over to the normally aspirated piece. It was mainly a shakedown and make sure that the car was where we needed to be from a competitive standpoint. Uh, the word Copo goes back to 1969 when a number of Chevrolet dealers were able to obtain 1969 Camaros with engines out of Corvettes. It went on to make the vehicle a uh, very, very strong contender in the super stock NHRA world. I think that the Copo name obviously uh, has tremendous history and the pride and the ambition that everyone related this project has poured out of them. It, it, it can't fail and it won't fail and this I think will just continue the Copo heritage. Well this is very important to GM and particularly for Chevrolet and its racing programs. This resurrects an interest in production racing. These three engines that we've developed for the race program we know that there's going to be tons of excitement to use them for crate engines, for weekend racers, and for, you know, professional racers. It's really a, a new horizon for us at General Motors. I'm very proud to be able to tell you that the vehicle met or exceeded every expectation that we had over the last three years to get to this point today. The vehicle went down the track, it turned the times we thought it would, and we're leaving today very, very satisfied.